Good morning, good afternoon, good evening friends. I come to you again today to know how you're doing. I come to you again today. We're gonna change we're gonna change things around this time around. We're gonna talk about Biafra first, then we go to to COVID, then uh, men's health. Anyway, I come to you today. We I know we have a lot of intellectuals in Biafra land. I know we have a lot, a lot of them. They're spilling out from every corner. All you graduates, all you master's degree holder, all you PhD, all you professors, I come to you tonight to ask you to ask you what are you doing? Your voice needs to be heard. We don't you we don't want to wait till Biafra gets here. Then you come out and tell us what you think. We don't want to wait till we come uh, uh, Biafra come then you come to tell us you're a professor of this you you do this you do that or you have these ideas and stuff now is the time we need you now we your voice needs to be heard we need you now everybody is waking up in Nigeria everybody is waking up even the governors of Benua State, even the governors of, of Northern States, they're talking about IPOB. And I know most of you intellectuals, I know most of you are doing something. But what about those that are not doing anything? You're not doing anything. That's who I'm talking to today. The ones that are not doing anything. You need to come out. That big grandma you're going to speak to us when Biafra get here. We don't need it then. We need it now. You come out now and speak to us. You come out now and state where you stand. Whether you stand for Biafra or you stand for Nigeria. Either case, come out and speak. If you're for one Nigeria, speak. If you're for Biafra, speak so that we know where you stand. You can't keep mute. You went to, you spent all these years and you went to school. You went to school, graduated, have your master's degree, have your PhD, your professor, and you don't have a job. You don't have a job. Biafra is where you will attain. Biafra is where you will attain your potential. That's why we come to you and talk to you about joining the struggle. You need to join the struggle. Support IPOB. Support Mazit Namdekano, who is the leader. Support him. Support the ESN, Eastern Security Network. Support them. They are there for you. They are doing the right thing. You in Nigeria, you don't have a job. You do not have a job unless you like living in penury. Well, that's you. But we are agitated to get what is rightfully ours. And you need to join us. Either you join us or you speak about one Nigeria. Speak about one Nigeria. So we know where you stand. Speak about Biafra. Those ones that are not doing anything, you are keeping mute. You're not saying anything. You're not doing anything. Join. You won't join. Say something. You won't say something. Where do you stand? We want to know where you stand. Now, the governors, 
they have approved that they have approved and banned no grazing anti no grazing law we hail you we thank you for doing that we praise you you governors we praise you the eastern governors we praise you for doing that but you still got more to do you still have a lot to do support IPOB support the eastern security network those are the ones that are going to save your life there's a lot of killing in Biafra land there's raping of our women of our mothers and that's not going to be we're not going to tolerate that anymore you need to support IPOP and Eastern Security Network they are there to protect our land they are there to protect to protect our people you need to support them you need to support them there's no going about about it there's nothing to go to go wrong let me ask you this you know uh, is it wrong is it wrong to ask for what we want is it wrong to ask for something that we want is it too much is it too much to ask you to grant us human dignity? I, 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 don't, I don't understand it. And what do you care? What do you think we care? What do you think we care about dying? If you can't grant us what we want, we will keep coming at you until we get what we want. We will keep coming at you until we get what we want. You need to support IPOB. You need to support IPOB. You need to support Eastern Security Network. They are there. They are there to safeguard what's going on in Biafra land. You need to support them. You need to support them. There's no two ways about it. The governors, we praise you for what you have just done. We praise you, but you still got more to do. You still have more to do. Like we told you guys, we are here just to praise, to praise the people that are doing, doing the right thing and doing a good job in Biafra land. We are here to praise them. And we are praising you today. And we are asking you and we are begging you to do more. Because there is a lot more to be done. There is a lot more to be done. Now, the last time we brought you, uh, we brought you people that are doing good things, great job in, in Biafra land if you check our last video and this time around we're gonna I'm gonna bring you Nikki Bobby Nikki Bobby he's giving a great news he's pioneering his own his own platform support him support Simon Eber Support ESN. Support all the people that are behind Mazen Nandekano. Support them. And now we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to um, the next one we have is COVID. Please continue to wear your mask. Continue to wear your mask. This thing is not to joke with. It's not to joke with. It's out there. It's out there. And and please. Keep your hands away from your eyes because you can still contact this virus through your eyes. Keep your hands away from your eyes. Unless, after you wash your hands, yeah, after you wash your hands with soap, yeah, you can touch your eyes and all that, you know, but 
other than that try to keep your hands away from your face use your face mask and wash your hands regularly use your face mask always use your face mask please the last time I came to you I showed you all the all the gears that you can use to to better manage yourself I showed you a lot of things that you can do to prevent this virus but you know we never know you never know where this virus is it can come at any time so be well prepared to take care of yourself please we are begging you wear your mask see me I have my mask here and I wear mine all the time I wear mine all the time so I don't forget it lay it down somewhere or forget it and, and when you do this don't forget this little piece that I showed you last time this little piece a spacer a spacer has made put it in between your mask and your face that will allow you to speak to talk to breathe without the mask being stuck to your face so we are begging you please wear your mask regularly regularly when you out there wear your mask when you come back in, in, in the house take it off wash it we, we, we recommend the cloth the cloth one so you can wash it so we ask of you please take care of yourself if you don't do it nobody will now back to men did you google what I asked you the last time BPH did you google it benign prostate hyperplasia did you google it I hope you did I hope you did get your information from that Google it will show you and show you everything that you need to know how to take care of yourself and when you start having the symptoms please go see your doctor any doctor will do they will direct you to where you need to go to go see your urologist any doctor can direct you where to go or refer you where to go please take care of yourself I'm talking about the man take care of yourself COVID-19 is real then this uh, prostrate is real for men take care of yourself nobody will do it for you I'm going to leave this here I'm going to cut it short and we'll come at you next time this week be passionate about something be passionate about something I will borrow this word from Martin Luther King if a man hasn't found something he will die for he's not fit to live so be passionate about something try and find something that you'll be passionate about that's where I'll leave you this week until next week goodbye